Imagine, if you will, a fantasy world where there's a giant gate that stands between the world of light and dark. Guarding this gate is a giant skeleton who holds the gift to open the gate to those who seek passage. His name is Key. <laughs> Court in 2030. Do you swear to spill the tea, the whole tea, and nothing but the tea, so help you, Regina? Ah, oh, yes. The cat harvest is coming in nicely. Questions that keep me up at night. Is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters a kaiju? Like, is it the... I, I need to know. Silly anime idea. A skateboard anime where all tricks are done in the style of Initial D. Don't lie to me, you would watch the crap out of that. This Justin, if you do not have a dad, you have been adopted by me. Now brace yourself for dad jokes, pizza, and demands to finish your homework on time. Oh, and uh, undying love, I guess. Yeah. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, they don't use the insult sheep shaggers. They use wooloo woohooers. Five things I want in Breath of the Wild 2. Able to play as Zelda and Link. Less Korok seeds. Time travel mechanics. Save data bonuses from Breath of the Wild 1. And Zelda's hair to do the Ghibli thing. You know you want it. Yeah, sometimes my brain feels like an overcluttered hard drive and trying to look up an item. Not for the sake of finding the item, but where exactly the origin folder is. Like, I know I heard this song somewhere, but where the hell was it? We here at YouTube are a network thriving with many different genres of entertainment and creativity that maybe we can all learn from and laugh. Also YouTube, Yoshi's screaming for 24 hours, 7 days a week! I watched like an hour of it before I got bored. Explain your favorite anime in the worst possible way. Ghibli reenacts the Lorax. My name is San, and I speak for the trees. Shoot the deer, and I'll break your knees. Here's a new challenge. Make a list of all the things you like about yourself, and then keep that list close by when you're feeling down to read. Do it, you won't. Americans have a new nickname, and it's Star Spangled Ding Dongs. That's what Captain America calls his slong. Hey, that's America's slong to you. When you stub your toe, but YouTube is watching you carefully. Son of a biscuit. Yo, Travis really lost his touch with the ladies. False. He got the best girl in the series. Also, he never really had a touch. He just, uh, kind of winged it. And it worked. Like how most relationships are supposed to work. Write that down. It is time to cleanse your mind. With these Shmeepa Thipos. The only part of you that doesn't age is the voice in your head. Before 1918, colorblind people had the same experience watching movies as everyone else. Sleeping on the couch is like cheating on your bed. There must be thousands of people alive today who have exactly the right mindset, physiology, and motivation for a successful life on Mars. Except that they were born 100 years too early. Saying okay to everything someone says is like trying to skip NPC dialogue. And it's just rude. Mike Wazowski nodding is the same as him twerking. The fact that there haven't been any internet challenges recently is evidence of their use as a tool for natural selection. Well, then maybe we should start doing more challenges. The man who invented the internet created more jobs than any other person on Earth. Thank you, internet man. Without you, I would not be here this day. And you feel the guy in the song Fireflies by Owl City gets a thousand hugs from 10,000 lightning bugs. So one in ten fireflies like him. Therefore, he's pretty unpopular with fireflies. And this has been... Oh look, it's an image prompt. Gary, I realize it's your first day, but uh, we do have a dress code. I can't literally tell who was talking to who and I don't want to change that for a second. Who was the first man who first salted the slug? What was he thinking to try? Roaming the lands, pouring salt on God's creatures, hoping for one which would die. Why does this work? Made this handsome boy a little while back, but realized I posted him to IG but not Tumblr. His name is Charlie and he lives in my closet. Man, FNAF 7 looks great. <sighs> not every single long sentence is a song by Fallout Boy. There are two ways to read this. Yes, and here are the two. Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. By Panic at the Disco. Hey! Yo, imagine waking up for church every Sunday where you can get an entire year of worship done in one serving. It, it doesn't work like that. 
Wait, it doesn't? Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, darkness, my old friend! Oh, God, I hate this! I hate this so much! Oh my God, is this a cat or a sheep? A shad? Don't call it that, please. You would not believe your arms if 10 million car alarms blared in the night as you tried to sleep. You are the owner of a magic backpack. Every morning, you stick your hand in it, and it contains exactly what you need for the day. One morning, it contains a gun. Okay, but isn't this the plot of Dora the Explorer? Swiper ain't swiping no more if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, he did. Dude, shirts are crazy. Your body goes in one hole and out of three. Ex Excuse me? We're no strangers to loss. You know the pattern, and so do I. May God bring his wrath down upon each and every one of you. All right, good work today, team. Let's pack it up. <laughs> Call our therapist. It is now time to cleanse your mind with the Schmieder Theaters by Tumblr. It's theoretically possible to flip a coin for infinity and to always get heads. If you get drunk, you basically borrow your good mood from the next day. To lightly touch someone is to hardly touch them. If you live to 113, you can say you have experienced being a teenager twice. The most unrealistic part about friends isn't the size of their apartments, but the fact that the couch in Central Perk is always available for them. Western gun fights were probably held at high noon so the sun wouldn't be in anyone's eyes. There could be a ghost aggressively breakdancing next to you, and you'd never know it. Wrestling is two guys without pants fighting for a belt. 90% of the ads on Spotify are about Spotify Premium. Making a horse wear a horse leather saddle is like making a human wear human skin shirts. The night before day off is more satisfying than the actual day off. You're probably constantly worrying about the next part of your life without realizing that you're right in the middle of what you used to look forward to. One day graphics will become so real that the games will be all about gameplay again. If Harry Potter was initially rejected by 12 publishers before someone printed it, we could have missed out on so many more childhood shaping stories just because some people in suits decided they weren't good enough and the author gave up. And finally, who lives in a pineapple under the sea could also be answered with Gary. And this has been Meter Theaters? Is that what I said? Yeah, Schmieder Theaters by Tumblr. You know, you can tell a lot about a person based on the wear on their keyboard. If the space bar has a smooth circle in the center, they're a writer. If the West keys are all worn out, they're a PC gamer. If the Z key has been burrowed through the keyboard to form a hole through the desk, they're an artist. And if the keyboard is on the floor in a million tiny pieces, they use her as a programmer. If I ever have a son, I'm gonna name him Altair, just so when he's sad or mad, I'll be like, Hey, what's the matter you, Altair? That's racist. You're racist! Well, I'm gonna name him Altair so when he comes home from school, I'll be like, What's new, novice? And when he tells me that he failed the test, and that is why you will always remain a novice in my eyes. Really? This is what you guys are doing? Hey, <laughs> hey! Game references. So the goats at my work were being mean. Bad and naughty kids get shame orbs put on their heads. Oh, and now they look like the Pokemans. I was curious about what the other side of the moon looked like, so I googled it, and I am so glad we got the side we did. The moon's ass ugly. You're so rude to Miss Boo. The reason her ass is so up is because she's protecting us from meteors. Her face is beautiful, so her ass can be disgusting and we can be safe. Rude. Someone who hasn't watched Italia, please care to explain this. Dude, I've watched Italia and I can't explain this. Oh, there's a witch in these woods? Is she single? Barry, going to ask the forest witch out on a date. So, my firstborn child has been stolen. <sighs> your wife taking care of your child is not stealing. Oh, ship sailed. Why is every author a number one best-selling author? Why is every toothpaste the number one recommended toothpaste? Why do my parents hate me? Why is every movie the number one movie in America? Did he commit a crime? Where's the warrant? Ah, uh, no, it's his last day at kindergarten. It's for his mom. Oh, good for you, little baby Komodo Dragon Man. Yes, Mr. Firefighter. Please, run away from the fire you're supposed to put out. 
Those sims never change. If I ever become famous enough to go on talk shows and have fan fiction written about my character, I'm going to read fan fiction, follow the authors of my favorite, then go on Graham Norton or some show and discuss it in enough detail for the author to know I'm talking about their story and then end with, so now I follow them on Tumblr and wait for them to freak out. This is evil. I love it. People are lazy and will never do any kind of work for free. Meanwhile, Minecraft players... Wait, that's... That's, that's, that's in Minecraft? Somebody made that? What? Whenever I'm sad, I just imagine a bunch of tiny versions of myself working inside of my body that sing and push blood cells around and have romantic encounters and have sword fights with bacteria and have so much fun keeping me alive. I gotta take care of myself for the tiny people inside me. <laughs> Thank you, little friends. Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that is just the show sells at work, right? Imagine a D&D game, but everyone talks like golf announcers and you just soft clap when someone rolls a 20. Ah, great swing from the barbarian. Absolutely beautiful. And I do believe, yes, that'll be enough damage from the rogue sneak attack to kill the dragon. Varian the Black has pulled ahead in the kill shot tally for this campaign in a stupendous way. Well done. Although his overall damage is still behind Synax the Sorcerer. True, that's very true. It's hard to compete with Synax's gratuitous use of area effect spells. Truly outstanding. And I think, yes, yes, yes. Grog the Orc has rolled the 20. Very, very beautiful. You know, there, there's always the, the, that speculation that the, the Orcs are bloodlust and hungry for war and just want to fight all the time. And I, I, I would like to clarify that that's not true most of the time. Some of us actually aspire to be different things, and I feel like I could be one of those ones that could... You know, breaks a new ground, you know what I mean? I mean, like, you look at me and think that I was built for battle, and believe me, that is what my father set out for me, and I, I just was not a fan of it at all. My brother certainly was, and when he came home for the first time with the skulls of his enemies at school, it just... I don't know, it creeped me out. It really did. I, I don't know if because I was young at the time, but it just was not me. So, I, I pursued different things. I, I wanted to write, so I wrote my first book about, you know, growing up in my household. And uh, let's just say my father was not a fan of it, mainly because, well, I talked about other things besides war, and you'd think he would be mad about all the things I insulted him. In fact, he actually told me he liked that part. Um, Unfortunately, the, f the first book didn't do so well. It got canned because it only, it only spread circulation among the tribes, and let's just say maybe I, uh, I did get a little angry. I found the first negative critiques home, and I, uh, well, I, 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 I broke his house a little bit. J just a little. Not, not enough that he couldn't possibly go back to it, but enough to <laughs> send a message to him, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you know, when I did that, that was the first time my dad ever told me he was proud of me. And the irony of it all. One time I finally get mad, and my dad is happy. And honestly, I didn't know how to feel about that at the time. But hey. Orcs be orcs, you know what I mean. <laughs>